on to the adventure. Now I'm putting on W four C Y three. Wake up, America! It's time for the adventures of Hype Man on W4CY.com, West Palm Beach's number one internet radio station. Here's your host, the Hype Man. This is the Pipe Man here on the Adventures of Pipe Man W4CY Radio, and I'm here with our next guest who we've talked to before, but it's so exciting that there's going to be another festival that we're covering this weekend called Incarceration, but I really love their story. I mean, their music is great, but I love the story even better, so let's welcome to the show, As You Were. How are you? I'm great. Doing, doing wonderful. So... You've done a couple of these DWP festivals. How, you know, do you know what you're in for at incarceration? I know we're in for a good time. I know we're going to be playing the first day, and we're look, really looking forward to it. We're, we're looking forward to throwing down and playing some songs from our previous two albums. Nice. Well, I, I'll tell you, it, it's so cool. That's why I said that. It's like a really cool venue because it's where they film Shawshank Redemption. And so you're like playing in the prison yard of that movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's also my home state, Ohio. Well, there you go. See, that's even better, right? Absolutely. I love going to Ohio. So tell us a little bit about the story about the band because I think it's really cool. As somebody who has... You know, a son who's in the Army, a son-in-law who's in the Army, cousins and stuff like that. It just blew my mind last time I talked to you guys. I even said something to my son afterwards about how you can be in the military and also be able to have these great experiences by using your creativity and creating music. Oh, yeah. It's it's a dream come true. I've been with, as you were, 2018 and really the band originally was just designed to go to high schools and sort of state and county fairs and play as, you know, a USEREC and outreach team. And, and that's what we still do. But over time, we've gotten more involved in going to sort of like main event festivals uh, to play with the big boys. And that's been really rewarding. So now we, we sort of do both. So the, the history of the band started with, you know, high schools exclusively. But over time, we've gotten to play at bigger and bigger events. But we still support both, and it's, it's been a great ride. I wish you guys were, were at my high school back in the day because I would have never, <laughs> ever conceived of going into the military and having music as a job and having a band as my job. Well, that's the thing. We go in there and they expect a marching band every time. <laughs> even even if we brief them beforehand and tell them, no, 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 this is a rock band. There's going to be lights and sound. They still expect, you know, you know, trumpets and drums and you know all that kind of stuff. So we surprise them every time. Oh, I love it. You mean you're not playing Revelry during your set? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Uh, no, we don't do that. that. That reminds me of that Robin Williams the USO tour when I think it was a treat until the colors went off while I was performing. Yeah, totally. And You know, and it's funny because, like, back in the day, I was a long hair, metal head, and, you know, if somebody ever mentioned joining the military, to me it was like, I'm not going to cut my hair. <laughs> so I didn't even conceive of, like, hey, this would be a cool place to really – expand on my creativity and music and love and passion for it and spread that passion to other people. Yeah, exactly. One of the things I always tell people is if they're considering joining the army is, you know, if you have a passion, you, you can fuel that into something, you know, a job in the military to, to further your passion and your career. So it doesn't have to be music. If you're good in engineering or something with science or even photography or communications, you can, you can get in there and use that to sort of jumpstart your career. And if you have a passion for music, same thing. You don't have to just join as you were. There's there's a bunch of bands in the Army 
that you could you could live your dream if you want to. Wow. So how do you guys, for people listening that, you know, who knows, they may think of going the same route. What made you even know about the music program in the military? I've been talking a lot. You want to take that one? Yeah, I'll take that one. So for me, I just happened to, and I, I, was, I was older. I was actually done with college. I was a high school band director, and I just happened to cross a performance by an Army band and talk to some of them, and they're like, hey, you know, this is an option if, if you want to play. And I, and I, at that point in my teaching career, I was getting a little burned out and I'm a saxophone player originally. So I called up liaison and, and talked to them about it and found out that, yeah, you can join the U.S. military playing the saxophone or trumpet or whatever instrument that you want to play. And it's been the best job that I've ever had. It's a lot of people have that misconception of the military through movies and TV. But it's, it's a lot more than what you just see on those sort of programs. Like Sergeant Kaluza said, the Army offers opportunities for all sorts of people. We have doctors. We have lawyers. We have graphic design artists. We have an esports team. We have, you know, people that are working with fitness. And we have PTs, OTs, all sorts of things that you can come in the military at. I love that because it, it's so true. Like, you need to have all those things because the military is like a family and a community, and, you know, you don't really think about it with common sense, but then when you're telling us all this, I'm like, wow, that does make sense that you would need to have, like, not everybody is doing one job. You wouldn't have millions of people in the military doing one job. You need so many different jobs, just like in civilian life. Yeah, that I mean, I think the Army is where I really learned that, you know, everybody has different strengths, too. So you yeah. come in and, you know, I, I'm a band guy and I know a lot about band stuff. And, you know, sometimes we go to those changes of command and people who know a lot more about, say, infantry or engineering are coming to me and asking me every question in the book about what happens in a military ceremony because I'm the band guy. So <laughs> that we need every job that there is in the military and the, or the Army. We, we definitely need it because everybody's got different strengths and weaknesses. That's a cool way of putting it because it's funny. I was just talking about that yesterday to some people I recruited on board here at the radio station that how what I kind of do is when somebody comes on board, I have them try different tasks to find out what their strengths are and what their weaknesses are because I don't want them doing yeah. stuff they can't stand or don't like because they're not going to be good at it. They're just going to dial it in. They're just going to try to pass the class. And I want people that are, like, looking again yeah. A plus, you know? So they're only going to do that if they love what they're doing. And that, that's really what I love about As You Were, because we have people here who are dialed in because they're very, you know, dedicated and good at what they do. So, yep. you know, we love what we do and, you know, we just get out there and give it our best and there, there's no pulling teeth. You know, these guys want to be here and certainly I want to be here. I've been here since 2018 for crying out loud. Wow. And, uh, you know, I don't want to leave. But, yeah, it, it doesn't feel like work when you do when, when you do what you love to do. Yeah, and also – usually what you love to do is your strengths. Like nobody likes to do things they're not good at, <laughs> you know? So, yeah. so that's key yeah. also to what you're saying because it, it's like, listen, maybe I know how to do something, but if I really don't like doing it, I'm not going to want to. Like I said earlier, I'm a saxophone player when I first came in and we have collateral duties that we, we accomplish to make sure the mission gets done. And one of them, that I kind of latched onto is I started as a lighting tech. They wanted to add lights to the rock band show. And since I wasn't really playing saxophone in any ensemble, I started learning about lights and, and light theory and, and all of that. And it kind of translated over into video and then moved over to live sound. So, and that's, that's my passion now is, is doing live sound. And the army allowed me to do that. If I was a civilian, I probably would have had to go out, find a production company, you know, start off as a roadie, packing cases, that kind of stuff. I was able to not only get all that experience within the Army, but I'm also currently in school. And the Army has those programs where I kind of wish I knew about. I went off to college. I started working, and I had those loans to pay back. Yeah. But if I had known about this right off high school, I would have done this in high school, seen if I liked it or not got some college paid for even when you get out you you're automatically get part of that gi bill so it's kind of a win-win situation and plus john when john gets out he's going to be able to make some money as a sound and lights 
tech outside the army. So all that training he got, you know, in and outside the army while he was in, he'll be able to use. What and, you know, I, I mean, yeah, I can get hired as a drummer, but I, you know, I probably won't do as well monetarily as John will on the outside <laughs> as a sound guy. And I love how he said too, like. I, I was thinking about it because it is much harder in civilian life to be able to do live sound, you know, and to get the experience and the training yeah. and all that. And, you know, th- there's another thing you wouldn't really think of until you said it. And I was like, wow, that's so true because you're getting the opportunity being in the military to be able to get that training or the door, the foot in the door, you know, because – the industry can be pretty closed, you know, and you really have to prove yourself. So, it's, it, and you're right. Once you get out, you've already proved yourself. So then, in civilian life, you will have a lot of opportunities. Absolutely, absolutely. I also dig the fact that you brought up something that made me think about it. You kind of find your passion, even though it's not the passion you think it's going to be. Like even for me, for instance, I played drums guitar and sang thrash metal and i sucked at all three but i'm damn good on the radio and without those <laughs> those other three sucking i might not be here talking to you right now well i gotta ask since you're you say you're better at being on the radio than you were at being a musician you enjoy being the radio on the radio more than you did being a musician I think what it was is for the radio it's just natural to me and and mm-hmm. whereas Playing those instruments, I never dedicated enough time to practice, which means, you know, did I have a passion for music? Yes. But did I really have a passion for the instrument? Probably not. Or else I would be that person that's playing all the time and practicing all the time. I wasn't that person. I was like, oh, practice is a drag. Can you just teach me a song? I don't want to play scales. I don't want to play on this practice pad. I remember playing drums and having that practice pad in the beginning. I just wanted a drum set. I didn't want a practice pad, (laughs) you know, and stuff like that. Whereas, I don't know, with radio, it just kind of came natural, which sometimes that happens with music, too. For people, I think, that become the greatest musicians, yes, they work very hard at their craft. Yes, they, they, you know, learn their craft. They practice. But. They had something natural in the beginning that made them want to do the hard work. Yeah, I think that's true. Yeah, but everybody has different strengths and weaknesses with that. So yeah, yeah you're right. If you take, if you take it, if you if you take something that you're naturally really good at, yeah, it's, it's just going to go much further. Yeah, exactly. Because even though you are still like people don't realize, just because you're naturally good at something doesn't mean you don't work your butt off and and get as much. For me, it's all about getting as much education and training on you as you can on your craft, even though you're naturally able to do it. That doesn't mean you don't need to do those other things, but you actually want to do those other things. Whereas if you're not naturally good and you just like kind of like in music, like if you just want to be a rock star, you know, it, it's not it doesn't really work out that way. So. You know, and that's the thing. There's a lot of people that want to be musicians, and there's a lot of people that want to be rock stars. The musicians are the ones that are going to put in the work. I, yeah, I agree with that. I, I think that's what's great about As You Were is we aren't, we're, I mean, we're not kids. We're not Guns N' Roses. But we get to go to these festivals, and the part I love about it is I, I get to, like, talk to the people, you know, after the show. You know, after the show, you know, we go to our tent and, you know, I love playing, but my favorite part is like talking to people, nice. what their impressions of the show were, you know, would you like a t-shirt, you know, and then they tell us some of them, some of them are in the military. So we, we start talking about, you know, their story. So to me, the music, it, it, it sounds funny, but the music all almost is secondary to the, the human aspect of the band and the band's fans. I love and, that. And talking about each other's story. So that to me, I, I never expected that to happen to me. And as you were, my, my whole thing coming here was just play drums. You know, I'm, I'm a drummer. That's what I do. And I, I still am kind of like that. But now I, I really like to, to talk to people and, and, and hear about what their life is, how their life is going and, you know, what their impressions of the army are. And, and they want to talk about the band. And to me, that's, that's really where it's worth it. Well, and with what you guys do there, there's an additional passion in my opinion, besides the music. And that's, 
I think you're kind of making a difference in a big way. First of all, because to me, music is the best therapy anyway. And, you know, so I think doing that alone is a reward. But then it's also being able to, like you're saying, talk with the people and, and interact and kind of also, like I was saying before, give a different aspect of what being in the military is and what the strengths of being in the military are if you know these type of things. Like, you have to know to pick music as your job or a band as your job. But what if you didn't know? You know, and I know there was somebody I talked to in the band last time. I can't remember which one it was, where it was like they started off at a different job and didn't even know there was a music program, you know, type of thing. And that's what's cool. Yeah, probably Austin West, or one of our guitar players. Okay, yeah, and, but just that's like something that's cool. It's like even with my son, he started off in one job, and now he's a different job, and I even see the passion. Like, he's he's been in for almost his 20 years already, but I see a very different passion now than what it was in the beginning when, you know, maybe he wasn't doing the job he really wanted to do. It was the job he had to do at the time to get to where he is now. Yeah, that's such an interesting thing. I know we're getting all, we're th- we're like waxing philosophical now, but like <laughs> it, it's kind of it, it's easier to know where your path is because when you're like let's in school, like you could if you pick out like uh, one of the like STEM fields or something, you, you probably could figure out what what you're what you know you're really um, naturally talented at in school but like for example you might not have figured out that you'd be good at radio while you're in high school how would you have known that exactly like that that wasn't something something you were able to figure out till after you know you you graduated and joined a band or three or whatever so sometimes you know people don't even know what they're naturally great at while they're in high school or college 100 percent. i i agree with that and that's what's cool, you know. I think that's what's happening with you guys too. Is like as you're evolving as a band too, like you just said, yeah. you, it's not just about the music anymore, and that's not an aspect that you ever thought of. But it's just something that naturally evolved. Yeah, it's all. It's always about people. I think every time we go out, whether it's whether it's high school students or college students or people rocking out and getting inked up and incarceration. It, it's always about people every time. Music, music is just the thing that brings us together. That's right. My belief is and being out at front of the house while they're performing and working the sound, I, I kind of, I get to see them up on stage. I get to affect that energy, but then I also get to see the crowd reaction. I get to see what's happening. I can look around and, and see people enjoying themselves whether it's it's at a large festival like Rockville or incarceration, one of the things I, I learned is I've only been with the group for six months. The first couple of missions we did at high schools, it was always a question of how much do we want to do, how many lights do we want to set up, how big of a PA, things like that. And the the, the, the big thing is like always, well, how much can we do, and how much time do we have to set it up? Because for a lot of these high school students, this is the first time they've ever seen a rock band, and maybe the only time they see a rock band for years to come. So we have to put on the best show that we can, give them the best experience. So when they leave, they they we they need to be feeling that's what rock's about. That's that's what a rock band does. Like the way I felt, the way I was pumped up, the emotions, the feelings, all those endorphins and stuff. Uh-huh. It's just it's just great to see that happening. And and I know sometimes you look around, you see the administration kind of sweating a little bit and looking around like seeing what's going to happen, but. The kids behave themselves because they're just out there having a great time. They don't want the show to end. They just want to just get absorbed by that music. I love it. Why don't you guys tell everybody how they can connect to you on social media or anywhere else that they can connect to you and get your merch, check out where you're playing, you know, like you'll be at in- incarceration, but you'll be at other places as well. Get your albums, all that good stuff. Yeah, check us out on Instagram at AYW Music. And we're on Facebook too, but it's it's a little different. It's Army Musical Outreach on Facebook. So yeah, you, we we update those pretty regularly. Very cool. Are there any final words you want to leave our listeners with that we haven't covered already? I hope, it, as long as I'm in this group, I hope to see anybody listening there, and I hope to run into you too. Yeah, and if if you are at one of our shows, come say hi to us. Let us know that you you, you heard us on on this or. 
you know, you caught us on social media. We love hearing about that. We love connecting with the people. Love it. And I can't wait. You guys are going to kill it at incarceration. And that will be a lot of fun. Thanks for being on the Adventures of Pipe Man. Thanks for having us. Yes, thank you. Thank you for listening to the Adventures of Pipe Man. On W4CY Radio.